Welcome back to the Game Cave. I am Josh. This is Octopath Traveler 2. And like I mentioned at the end of the previous episode, Misha here has a side quest for us, so we're going to go ahead and do this. Also, we're going to polish up the um, uh, Mika's side quest. Oh, hello there. I apologize for not coming to greet we're gonna you. Fill, we're going to finish up Mika's side quest. I've been um, busy I believe wardrobe, you see. the artisan that we're looking for for the kimono is her fa or Agnia's father. I... I hope you don't think me presumptuous. I don't, I don't I know if it's going to be him because there's been a lot of tailors throughout the thing, but I mean, her first chapter ended with him making the dress for her. So stands to reason that like her little final chapter thing of getting someone else a kimono would be right. Yeah. We'll see. Of late. The master has a habit of returning home with his attire in a most terrible state. Night after night, it appears he's sneaking out. I asked him what has been occupying him at such unseemly hours, and he dissembles. What he's up to is anyone's guess. Mm, I bet he started a fight club. I'm worried to death that the master may have gotten himself mixed up in some unsavory business mm, unsavory so it must be sweet you business investigate master alron's nighttime activities for me <laughs> oh no i don't want to do that <laughs> uh misha's next chapter okay sure um any clues i appreciate you speaking with the townsfolk see i think with a bit of more information would be most helpful okay let's talk to the townsfolk then Well, well, well. Oh, suddenly it's nighttime. Uh. Hmm. I wonder if this is like I need key item information. And usually the way that you get that is through scrutinous. So gonna quickly run around and see if there's anybody that I don't or that has the new scrutinized thing open I did get some garbage collector information from a guy uh, in, uh, this guy in between episodes oh yeah I can't recruit him or allure him so yeah he's unique to this quest interesting <laughs> So wait, he's a garbage man? The garbage collector thing was for Alron? <laughs> well, maybe other things. Because that was... That was only one... I already have that, and if it didn't finish the quest, then... That means that there's other things. Let's check nighttime. Uh, we do have the optimal party for looking for shit. As far as speed is concerned, I should say. I believe I mentioned in a previous episode why that's the case. Um, because, I mean, after a certain period of time in the. Uh, hey, hey! Hello, sir! Hello, sailor. Give me that shit. I have a request. So do I. A man who enjoys... A man in a brown coat. There you go. So he's poop. A man who enjoys taking strolls in the evening. Lately, he's seen a young man in a brown coat who hides his face with a hat. The man... I don't... That's... No, okay. A man with a coat walks around every night, sometimes kneeling down by the side of the road, not worried he'll get dirty. Interesting. So he's disguising himself to go do... Garbage men stuff. He's he's literally taking cleaning up the streets into his own hands. I can respect it. I mean that's one thing that I, I see from like a lot of uh 
business owners and stuff like that is uh, first time that I ever remember. Maybe not the first time, but one of the most prevalent ones is um, Alan Thrall, uh, Untamed Strength. He actually has his own gym, and uh, well, I guess that's I guess that's it. Um, he has his own gym, and. Uh, he's got videos of him just like starting his day by basically going through and literally cleaning the entire gym and I mean I know like big chain gyms that don't do stuff like that big chain stores that don't do shit like that because they don't care you know but but it, it shows that and he does and it's I don't remember where I was going with this Garbage man. Yeah, right. So Alron obviously gives a shit about his town, so he's going around cleaning the, the fucking thing because nobody else will. Could you investigate Master Alron's nighttime activities for me? Night after night, he appears to be sneaking out. Perhaps the townspeople might have some advice in the matter. There you go. Needed another piece of information. Needed the brown coats. Apparently, he's a rebel from Firefly. I see. Thank you for this information. From your description of this man, I think I know what the master is getting himself up to. Curious to know, are you? In that case, sit with me, and we will wait for his return together. I mean, you could have just followed him. Welcome home, Master Alrond. <laughs> J'accuse! Oh, caught red-handed, eh? I never intended for you to see me like this. I had thought I was suitably stealthy when I slipped out. It appears that I was mistaken. Eh, subtle is not a thing that you do well, Alrond. There you go. That's my dude. Yes, it is indeed me, Alrond, lord of this town. <laughs> he said to his butler. <laughs> I asked this fine traveler to look into your activities. I fucking love Alrond. Think that you've been spending your nights picking up garbage. Our department store's prosperity has led to a tremendous increase in people and products coming to town. In equal proportion, trash has accumulated in the streets, damaging our town's visual appeal. Mm. That is why you've spent your nights out there? Cleaning? Ha, <laughs> you've missed the mark, Misha. I'm not out there to clean up junk. I'm treasure hunting. What? You haven't changed a whit, have you, Master Alrond? You're always picking strange things up off the street. Like you once did me. Aww. Several years ago. I wonder if anybody's done, like, artwork of Alrond, like, full size. Picking up trash? My family is poor, you see. Whether it be old clothes or broken machinery, salvage can fetch surprisingly high prices. Oh, there's Elrond in his brown man coat. Besides, the cleaning up makes our fair town look all the fairer. Huh, you don't say. What's the point of that? <laughs> None, really. I was born here, you know. I love this town. The more smiles I see on its people's faces, the happier I am. <laughs> uh, truth is, I'm good for nothing else. I've got no intrinsic worth. Huh. Never disparage yourself, young man. Indeed. Yeah! Man, his quick change is on point. <laughs> You're Lord Alron. The very same. I am in with this little hair flip. I fucking love this guy. What you saw just now was a guise I assumed to wander the world. Through it, I have judged your character. But that's quite rude of you, Lord Alron. Is it? Forgive me, young man. And why would you waste time on me? I'm no better than this trash I wallow. Didn't he just tell you not to disparage yourself? <laughs> now, now. 
I have a keen eye for many things. If you don't talk good about yourself, who the fuck will? You're no hunk of detritus, but a diamond in the rough. So I offer you a chance to shine. Will you come work for me? I was just another piece of garbage you picked up out of the gutter. How many times do I have to tell you, Misha? Call it treasure hunting. <laughs> you care for our town as much as I do. If that great heart of yours is not a treasure, then I do not know what is. Facts. Master Alron. I believe you're laying it on a bit too thick, don't you think? <laughs> Possibly. Forgive me, Misha. But I think thick is the only way he you knows how to do it. To be caught sneaking off alone, weren't you? All to do the same thing I once did so long ago. Mm. If you wouldn't mind, allow me to assist you on your treasure hunting expeditions. Very well. Now that I am found out. I have no choice but to acquiesce. Well then, how about I lend you a hand in cleaning my soiled garments? Wait, was he wearing his ostentatious that's garb under his brown <laughs> And once that's Like, done, does this man go out dressed like this just so that he can, like, in case what he gets found it? out, he's like, Haha, it is I! <laughs> I fucking love Elrond. I don't know how to properly fold a pair of trousers. You'll be more hindrance than help. <laughs> You are a handful. He's the best kind of handful. A butler's tailcoat. Oh, hello. I can knock you out? What? Oh, well. Do you have stuff for me? Elrond's promissory note. Oh, shit. Level 88. Yikes. And I can't mug him. Aw. <laughs> Oh my god, I love this. What else can I do to him? I'm uh, with him. <laughs> You've got a dirty mind. Um, uh, to the tavern. Let's get the other people's um, path abilities. See what we can do to him. Okay, nighttime stuff. <sighs> Knocking him out, don't care. Um, coerce? We can try and coerce. Um, no. You can't buy him, can you? That would be fantastic. Um, maybe if you can't buy him, you can lure him with jerky. Let's try it. Oh, hey, it's some travel banter. Ah, oh, it's a three way. Memories of you. Coming to a tap. Whoops. Feels like my childhood was a lifetime and a half ago. Might I ask what you were like in your youth, Particio? Me? I was trying to be a merchant, just like Pops. I spent my days learning everything I could from sunup to sundown. Not much has changed now that I think about it. I see. You've always been dedicated to mastering your craft then. <laughs> Guess so. Say, Oswald, what were you like as a kid? Dull and boring as I am as an adult. My days were spent reading. See? I thought I had all the time in the world back then. I think everybody does. But now I realize how naive I was. Time is finite. One must choose wisely how to spend it. Alright, Eeyore. I know how precisely how you feel. Life was much simpler when we were children, wasn't it? And you, Temenos? Well, long ago my friend Roy was bedridden with a high fever. At that time I could not I could do nothing but pray for him. I begged the gods to save his life. Now I know healing magic. So you were a stand-up fella even back then, huh? <laughs> I could speak... <laughs> if I could speak to my younger self now, I would say thus. Rely not on the gods, but your own power to save him. Yes, your healing magic that you have. Ugh. I guess as time goes by, we all change, just like the seasons. We cannot remain children forever. Indeed. Our youth is gone, and shall not return. 
Thanks, Oswald. Really appreciate you participating in that. I find Oswald to be a very muted character. Oh, like, I understand that, like, tragedy befell him, but, like, all the flashbacks don't really have him doing anything either. Oh my god, that's all you can do is... Octopath bowl? The fuck is an octopath bowl? Treasure smell? He's <laughs> strength one. Uh, whoa my god, he's so expensive. 15% off purchases. Um... I have to know what treasure smell is. Plus, I just want Elrond following me around. Yes, merchant, we will get... How is this man better at getting me... Um, uh, whatever. Let's get to work. Yeah! What the fuck is... So it doesn't tell me. Oh, well. We'll figure it out later, then. Our big line of people. <laughs> I have Elrond! <laughs> what do the butler's garments do? Uh, nothing good? Oh my, those are actually quite nice. Why are those so far down on the list? Is this organized by physical defense? Hmm. I mean, they're not better than that, but... Awesome. <laughs> I have Elrond on my team. I could not be happier. I, I, no, I lied. I could be happier. I need to go find Ori. <laughs> okay. Well, um, let's get our party back together. Uh, so Throny, Casty. There we go. Um, they don't need their equipment back on, but he do need his job. I wonder what treasure smell treasure smell is I smell some I smell treasure I what I unequipped him did I I don't remember doing that staff of carnage and the thunders roar I think I got that from, I think I stole this from Raime protector's shield wait who's wearing the oh well Somebody's wearing the forbidden, the forbidden butt. Oops. I think I forgot to unequip Hikari. Sure did. And... Oh, fuck me running. She had the forbidden shield on. No wonder... <laughs> no wonder I was getting into so many battles. <laughs> Man, I need to pay attention to shit. Mm, coat of arms. Empowering necklace. Big boy tank boy. Um. Uh, part of me wants to put this stone of truth on him. I mean, it's less elemental attack, sure, but. I don't know how far. Ooh, that does hurt considerably. I can, I can make that up in other ways though. Yes. Yes. Um. Eh. He's got room to grow yet. We'll we'll deal with that when we. When we deal with it. Uh, so, to Cropdale? We'll see if, um, we'll see if her, her father is the one that we need for the stuff. That's a yes. <laughs> hey, it's pigtails. Thank you. You're welcome. doing you can't be so sour faced all the time but it's my one character trait it doesn't matter my patrons don't come to talk a tailor sews in silence her garments speak for us that's a load of crock work should be done with a smile 
Doesn't matter what it is. Hmm. Or do you want your customers fleeing in terror? Ah, welcome, welcome. Nom, 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 nom. She works until her clothes are threadbare? All in service to the city? Hmm. This What's that, Lassie? Little Timmy like fell down the well. Wait here. I'm helping too, Papa. Yeah, we'll just leave this stranger in our house alone. And we're finished. Nailed it, man! They're so quick. A new kimono, just for Mika. I wish I could just cut to the work being done. She can bring any garments here, and I'll fix them. No matter how frayed. But tell her that our bodies aren't easily fixed. She must take care of herself. True. I'll bring it to her right away. Our work doesn't end until the customer has their product. Besides, it'll give me a chance to meet this Mika. Uh, where can we find her? Mind showing me the way? Oh, do I have to guide her? Uh, no, I'm not giving up Alron. We'll, we'll go find somebody else. <laughs> I wouldn't give up Alron for all King Midas' silver. I believe he's currently guiding the, um... Uh, Peppy Step. Oh, I love it. Yeah, he's he's guiding Uranus. Right this. Leave everything to me. All right. Uh, and back down to Ku. To finish this up. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna do everything I can for Ku. Well, now you're gonna do it. Looking good. You're delicious. Garud Sandstorm. Are you Mika? Oh my god, we're in the desert. <laughs> huh? Yes, I am. Hmm. Your clothes really are being held together by a thread. We made this specially for you. Please wear it in good health. How did you get my measurements? Uh, I don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. Such a lovely kimono. Oh, look at this. Lady Mika, at least try it on. Surely it was no simple matter to have this sewn. Yes, yes, go on. There's no need to be shy. I... Thank you, everyone. This is more than I could have imagined. You have my utmost gratitude. It's... I uh, taking it, it it's you really weird after traveling so when long. when you've become so used to payment, but I can make rice balls for to you. being you know uh, terrible shit happening and and just being ignored or or bad shit happening to you constantly this it's it, it, it's hard to suddenly start receiving these. positivity dozens. because it feels foreign as many as you want. So I, I understand. Give even Agnes a run for its money. Oh yeah, I forgot Agnia can cook. If I were looking for a wife, I'd want her to be just like you. A wife. I uh, uh, what? <laughs> it's been a long time since I've had such a lively meal. Is she gay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, used to have I never really thought about it, but, <laughs> but he died in war. I owe everything to him. This house, this comfortable life. He gave so much to me, but I never had a chance to repay him. This studio apartment. <laughs> I thought if I couldn't do that, 
I'd repay my debt some other way. So I helped rebuild. But it seems all I've done is cause others to worry. Mika. I'm sorry. I've kept this bottled up for so long. And that's the other part of it. You shouldn't keep your troubles to yourself. Others are more than willing to share them. Share? Do... Do you have troubles too, Paula? Of course. When my sister left on her journey, it was me who had to do all the cooking. You... <laughs> and I only knew how to make one thing. <laughs> Three days and nights, all Papa and I ate was raspberry pie. You don't have any idea how hard it is. Your brother died? Whatever. I had to cook for myself. Even our dreams were full of raspberries. <laughs> <laughs> that must have been hard for you. If you need to share your troubles with someone, then I'll gladly listen. Hmm? You asked for it. I've got enough stories to fill a book. You don't read. The next morning. Boy, this is a long one. That's strange. Where are they? Huh? You haven't seen my earrings, have you? Oh, no. <laughs> I woke up and they were gone. Where could they be? Paula didn't jack him, did she? I can't find them anywhere. That would be like the twist of the century. Oh, I can't believe this. They were supposed to be for... <sighs> hmm. <gasps> Bitch! A bandito! Good job, Throne. You must let me do something to thank you. Now, to give this to Paula. <sighs> ah, I slept in. Well, you're on vacation. I should get back home soon. Papa's probably getting lonely. Yeah, you've probably been gone for weeks now. You did travel halfway across the continent. Please, take this. It's a reunion earring. If we both wear one, that means we're certain to meet again. Make sure you don't wear them on opposing ears or you See? fuse like the Potara. I one too. My brother gave them to me when I was little, and I've always treasured them. He told me to save them for someone special. Ooh. Uh, are you sure? You don't want to save them for someone Hey, Maybe she is going to get a wife. Special? I'm sure. If I can share my troubles with you, I can share this, too. My brother always said, Keep your head up. You deserve to watch the heavens. But I didn't even realize that I had been looking down for so long. That I lost sight of the people who were looking after me. It was thanks to you that I remembered to keep my head held high. Thank you, Mika. Let's both keep our heads up. You're not alone. You should come visit sometime. As my wife, if you like. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, Paula. Like Paula's being totally serious and Mika thinks she's just joking. <laughs> Exchange in jewelry means that we're married. Oh, Paula. <laughs> I 
Yay! Mika's amuleto. What does that do? Whoa! Holy shit! Oh my god! What an absurdly powerful... Jesus! Uh... I would like to put that on her because of the speed. But she loses a lot of attack. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, and I could put... Uh, I could put uh, better accessories on her. That would give her an extra 50... Fuck. That is a really, really good... Damn. But I don't want to... I, I want to keep her at max-ish attack for now. Still, very, very strong. Uh... Oh, and it didn't give me Uranus back. Boo. Uh, Castine. Okay. Um, where to next? Just a fun little side quest. <laughs> uh, oh. What? Oh, I haven't been there still? Oh my god. I forgot about that. I'm so used to just <laughs> traveling everywhere. All right. Um, well, in that case, let's go ahead and throw... No. We'll switch to Agnia when we get there. Because she's... Um, she's already level 70. I want everybody uh, to get a chance to catch up. And we're going to be... Having some good times... I put that stone on him, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get to, uh, we're going to get to this new place. his whole crew with him. That's not cool. <laughs> um, well then. <laughs> as swift as a snake. We're gonna go ahead and... Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Uh... You're open. So we're gonna do this. My turn. You're open. Hmm. Do this like this. So, Magia. very effective. <laughs> my very turn. effective. Oh my god! And it refilled. It did enough damage to refill this whole thing. Okay. Here we go. And uh, later, dorks. And so it goes. Oh my god! That's so much exp. What was this all about? You possess formidable strength. This is the first time I have tasted defeat since coming to this land. I would gladly aid you in your fight. You can now summon a foreign assassin when using hired help. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Who would have thought it was a Particio thing? <laughs> or, well, wait, hired help is... I think any merchant class can use it. 
I don't think that's a Particio thing. Mary Hills! Alright. New town. New stuff to steal. Whoa! New town, new stuff to steal. Uh, so... Before we get into... Because we actually do have to go to the tavern in order to start up Agnius thing. It's, uh, it's not like a talk to somebody or wander around town. We're gonna go ahead and sack the town first. And get to that later. So... See you in a bit. boosted this box ever since I got that box I I please get it away from me thank you oh uh the letters w e w s are carved into the box give it back W E W S. What? So there's some power involved in it. Wait. W E W S. Where the fuck was that? Uh. Am I an idiot? Wellows. W-E-W-S. Oh my fuck. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Oh, I want to go right now so bad. <laughs> Gotta finish sacking the town. Okay, town sacked, and now we're gonna go here. Oh my god. Oh my god, I want this so bad. <laughs> we'll see you there. Oh, we didn't even have to get all the way there. Give it back. That's it, my treasure. I'm trying, man. Stop interrupting me. Okay. Here we are. This creepy ass manor. Alright, so there's the dude right there. Okay. And there's the two people over there. Loud creaking noise. Sure. Uh. Do we go into the main room? Or do we go. Ah! New person. What's gonna happen? Hello. Oh. Finally, it's come back. Huh? It's come home. Did it have the spirit of her daughter in it? Thank you. What the fuck? The box contained the spirit of her daughter. I still want to know who these people were. What the fuck is this painting? 
Why were there so many questions in this game? Whoa! Slim chance to instantly kill. That's a powerful axe. 366. Is that one of the stronger axes that I have? That is the strongest axe that I have. Holy crap. With lower accuracy, but a slight chance to... Hmm. Hmm. Is that little bit of power better than the critical? It, it, it really isn't. It really isn't. But I do want to see what it looks like, so <laughs> we're going to use it at least once. Cool! Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy that it wasn't just a, a random thing with ghosts and stuff. That was so cool. It was so cool. Just the, just the fact that I was so, like, invested in trying to figure this fucking shit out. Now I want to go talk to that woman in town again. All right, what is this accent? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It looks exactly as cool as I would hope it to be. Well, well. It looks exactly as cool as I would so want it, it to be. Oh, but the shit thing is that nobody else can wear it except for somebody that has the blessing of disguise on. So I can't even put it on somebody else. Balls. But the critical, oh, the critical, the critical. It's just so much. Just so much. Can't pass that up. I mean, the only other person that I could put it on is oh boy here, but we ain't doing that. Um, all right, so she was in Timberrain, right? Shit. Who was she? She was the lady in the house by herself, right? Let's go see if she has anything to say about me solving the mystery. Uh. Hello. Humans are capable of truly horrifying things. Guess not. A former servant of House Wellows. A few years ago, when the famed noble family was at the height of its glory, everyone in the matter was brutally murdered, but she was away on an errand. She became the household's only survivor. Her first glimpse of the shocking murder scene still haunts her. Hmm. Oh well. I guess... I guess that's just for backstory about what happened there. So the entire manor was just brutally murdered. And somehow the spirit of the daughter was in that box strange all right well guys that's gonna be the end of the episode thank you so much for watching i appreciate the fact that you do and if you're enjoying the content or not make sure to like comment share and subscribe all those good things socials will be down in the description below and hey if you're checking us out and you have any suggestions for games that are coming up drop them in the comments because you know do take requests see you next time peace